I'm going to finish by telling you a story that happened between Abu Bakr Siddiq and Ali ibn Abi Talib in the way they loved the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I respected one another and loved one another for the sake of Allah. One day they came to the Hujra where the Prophet was living and they entered into this conversation and the Quran was revealed. And please listen with me. Look at two men whom Allah has favored and gave them the best beginning in their life by embracing Islam first, Ali are the youth, and Abu Bakr Siddiq are the man, by one of them becoming the son-in-law of the Prophet, and the second, the father-in-law, by two men whom the Prophet loved and cared for, one became the first Khalifa, and the second became the last, by two men whom the Prophet loved and cared for in the day of judgment, they will be among the first whom he will allow to give intercession for others. When they were standing, Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu, said to Ali ibn Abi Talib, could you please knock the door and enter because it is your house. Awakar Siddiq said to him, but the best woman has been given to the best man. Meaning you are better than me. The Prophet gave you his heart, Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha. I can't do that, you do it. Ali then replied to him, when the day of judgment is there, and people are standing regretting what they have done, a call will come from the truthful Allah Almighty God. O oh, Abu Bakr, enter you and your beloved Muhammad Sallallahu into paradise. You are more deserving of entering Paris to see your beloved than myself. Abu Bakr then said to him, there will come a day in the day of judgment when everyone will be coming walking, but you will be coming riding. And a call will come from Allah, O oh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in the world, the best father you had, Ibrahim alayhi salam, and the best brother was Ali ibn Abi Talib to you. Ali ibn Abi Talib never went one foot step forward to enter, but said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam or to Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu, if the iman of the man is standing before me is put in one side of the scale, and the iman of the whole ummah is put in the other, indeed the iman of this one man, Abu Bakr Siddiq, will be heavier. You are greater than me. Abu Bakr Siddiq said to him, Ali ibn Abi Talib will come in the day of judgment, his wife and his children riding. And everybody will think, who is this prophet? Then straight away, Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu said to him, you should enter because a call will come and said, Ya Habib, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O beloved Ali ibn Abi Talib, enter into paradise. But then, Abu Bakr Siddiq will not stop there and says, وَالَّذِي جَاءَ بِالصِّدْقِ وَصَدَّغَ بِهِ أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُتَّقُونَ And the one who brought the truth and accepted the truth, indeed they are the most pious among the humans. This is a verse in Surah Al-Zumur, verse 33. Jibreel alayhi salam rushed and came to the Prophet sallam and said, Ya Rasulullah, your friends Abu Bakr Siddiq and Ali ibn Abi Talib are standing, respecting one another, showing love to you. Who will come first to address you? Please, walk out and stand with them, for Allah Almighty God is looking at them and praising them to the companions in the heaven, the malaika. And he has chosen for them a special mercy and accepted them. And in this moment of time, he has called upon them to be the best of the Muslims in this ummah, in their adab. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam walked out, and Jibreel is beside him. And then when he saw them, he looked at them and says, there is nothing I could do but kiss your foreheads. He kissed both of their foreheads. And then he said, وَالَّذِي نَفْسِ مُحَمَّدٍ بِيَدِهِ لَوْ أَنَّ الْبِحَارَ كَانَتْ مِدَادًا وَالْأَشْجَارُ أَقْلَامًا وَأَهْلُ السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضِ كُتَّابًا by Allah Almighty God, who is holding my soul in his hand. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made all the seas are ink, and all the trees are pens, and the earth people and the heavens inhabitants came down to write the fadl or the bounties of both of you, they would not be able to write that. This shows one thing, that those two men did not just respect the Prophet, but they respected one another. 
Ask yourself when you go back to the school you come from, how much the children respect one another? For if there is no respect, there will never be a love. I will end by saying that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stated in Bukhari, none of you will be a true believer until you love me more than your children, your partners in marriage, and more than all of mankind or anything that you can own or hold on in this world. That is a tall statement and a hard statement for anybody to fulfill. But we should try and we should make sure when we go back to schools, our children will not just think of Muhammad as the prophet of Islam, but as the savior for humanity. And we are here in this country, not by our choice. Maybe there are difficulties in our countries that made us to come here, but we came here by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring Islam to the people of this land. If we couldn't do it properly, we have the chance to give it to those who will do it properly. May Allah guide me and guide you and allow us to do that which will please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.